At the end of my career, uh, I was in a really dark place, and so I was navigating my life through alcohol and pain medication. I've had a lot of injuries. The grind of the National Hockey League is very, very demanding. To be in a space like that and know that it kind of is, was up to me at that point to be willing to, to ask for help or to let people know that I wasn't okay, probably the toughest thing I've had to do. Shine a Light was started back in 2016, and over time it's evolved in, with my mental health journey and um, to be now just uh, a champion for youth mental health. For me, being a coach in the sporting world and seeing all the pressure and the expectations that kids have today, I think it's important that they have tools and resources um, to better understand their experience. You know, for us, um, music and movement and mindfulness, things that we focus on and shine a light, give them opportunities to learn about who they are, right? To express themselves through music. Music is medicine, um, and music has a healing power. And I don't think we were actively seeking out music therapy as something that we would rally behind, but. When we came across it through the Masonic opportunity, I think we realized how important the role is that they provide, and so we wanted to at least do what we could to support them, and so asked them, said, what, what do you need right now? And instrumentation, kind of their a replenishment of their instrumentation that had been well used and well loved for many years. Uh, was an immediate need. And we were able to support kids coming through Masonic and drop off these instruments to see how it enlightened their experience. Funding isn't always through the hospital or they need philanthropic endeavors. And for us to be able to come in and, and, and fill that need, I think was really important for us to know that we're making an impact. And it's something that we wanted to make sure that wasn't going away anytime soon. I think with COVID and just the sheer impact of the number of kids that were showing up at these facilities, uh, just really highlighted the need that we need to have more uh, infrastructure and capabilities to treat these kids and to, to help them heal. The gift for us to Masonic outside of our instrument donation was a $300,000 commitment to, to the program. You know, whether that's the Shine a Light Music Therapy Program or just for us to know that we're, we're able to make an impact in an area that's, that's much needed. It, doesn't require expansive resources to do it, but it does require resources. And we're centered around music. That's kind of our, our bread and butter. We were really excited about our event, May 2nd, the Soul Shine event, uh, 2024. Uh, a lot of good funds uh, that we raise that'll go towards uh, Masonic and the music therapy programs. As a group at Shine a Light, we are honored to receive the Imagine Award.